hello friends welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial video I'm going to be showing you how to load sheet style from sheet manager in simple 3d land desktop companion 2009 if you want to print your job you need sheets to be able to print now the civil 3d sheet is different from uh, the normal AutoCAD sheets because this has to do with the plan and the profile and some other data to be included so quickly we're going to go to the sheet manager if you want to open you go to sheet manager tab meanwhile this is a blank space that we are using so please ensure yours is blank so i'm going to go to sheet manager i'm going to go to sheet style this flyer pops up each time you see an arrow it then means a flyer is coming up so I'm going to go to sheet style load sheet style this dialog box is up so there are sheets default sheets that said load sheet style now this is a folder is looking so this is a folder that is there now there are two types of sheets in this folder uh, I'm going to show you quickly so this is in sheets I'm going to go into sheets the sheets folder please I'm going to go into the sheets folder now if you look at this there is a sheets yeah this is an I is after it then this one also an I is after it now there are metric and there this is an imperial why this is for metric so if you are using feeds for your drawing it's advisable you change this sheet style to imperial which is you use the one that, uh, that that has the last one to be i then this one the metric is for those who are using the 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 metric design so this m is for metric and this i stands for imperial so i'm using metric in my drawing so i'm going to go to metric so on metric i have two sheets in it is an autocad file is an autocad file this i looks like so if i liked on it you will see so this is p l r p l p r so we stands for plan and profile so this is a sheet for plan and profile why this one at the bottom is a sheet for the cross section why you see it to be written the set yeah at the at the at the end of it but i'm creating that for plan and profile so i'm going to go to plan and profile i have liked it please and show you i liked it so i'm going to say open so it opens so this is how the sheets looks like so this is a sheet now if you can take a look at it you will see there is several sections in this sheet that uh, are included so which makes it very different from the normal AutoCAD sheet that you know of so this is different so this one this space at the top here is the square at the top that is, that is highlighted this one is for the plan and profile so what you need to do you don't need to worry about it so by the time we have to load it you will see in our next video you will see what will happen on it so this other one here this other one let me clear up the grip I'll hit escape to clear up the grips so this other one here is for the profile so when it comes up it grabs the profile put it there for you and this is for the plan so this other let me zoom in a little bit so that you can see what is happening there so this is better so I this other section here this is where you have your datas your finished datas your your stations this is where you have your stations and your existing ground data so these are values that the auto this sheet this sheet here will not you can you don't need to do it it does it for you because it's pretty stylish and very nice what it does is you just go get the profile put it here if you are printing if this sheet is for change um, 100 
to change 200 so it's going to grab the profile it's going to grab the plan for change 100 to 200 and put it here it's going to grab the profile for change 100 to 200 and put it here all values accordingly to the changes will be grabbed and put in here so this is where you come you type in your company name your name your logo whatever you want to put the sheet numbers and the checks all your what you have done so this is where you type in all this information so that whatever that is looking at your drawing be able to accept the put a date of the design and also every necessary information that's it guys this is sheet manager tutorial do subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up if you like our videos see you in our next video